A lot of people, 2022 was kind of a strange year. The world was re-emerging from pandemic closures and just relocating its sea legs. But according to our next guest, this year will be different. Let's welcome back Sherry Elise, America's joy magnet, who says 2023 will be the year of joy. Good to have you back. So great to be here. Thank you so much. So, so why should 2023 be the year of joy? Well, it's not a secret that so many of us have been struggling and it's been a challenge the last few years. But the really exciting thing that has happened is that in the last 15 to 20 years, there's been a lot of research on happiness and joy. And Harvard has released research that says that only 10% of our happiness and joy is determined by our life circumstances. And so what that's telling us is that there is a large percentage, 40%, that says it can be affected by the choices that we make. So we get to choose joy. We hear that all the time, but science is showing us that that is it. So we are actively making a choice this year to choose it. And how do you choose joy? You know, I think people, they get so bogged down, they get lost in their own thoughts and, and stuck in their heads about just all kinds of things that life throws their way. So what's a good way of, of, of finding the joy? There's, there's so many different ways to be able to do that. And first I'll say, you know, it, it's not just about rainbows and unicorns and this is not about woo woo and you know the art and science of joy who are the creators of a year of joy which I'm sure we'll talk about uh, really are scientists behind it and researchers and they found that four common ingredients to impacting our joy uh, is well-being is one of them so when you ask what is it that how can we feel more joy or choose joy it really is about taking care of ourselves mm -hmm. uh, one of the common ingredients like I said is well-being so that would mean that our emotional well-being our physical our spiritual and our mental so just having the foundation of that and making those choices that absolutely impacts our joy and that doesn't come naturally for a lot of people. And I think it's easy for time to get away from us and without putting it on the calendar to do something for yourself, for your benefit, weeks, months go by, go by and you wonder, why am I so miserable? I just, and it's because you haven't done anything nice for yourself. Absolutely. And you know, as someone who lives with making active choices for joy. It's not something that just comes naturally. I actually set reminders on my own phone every hour. I have something that says connection break. And for me, that's about taking deep breaths. It's about getting really present in the moment because we all can get lost in our heads, but it's about that reminder and that alignment to be able to bring yourself back to present. And how about finding things that bring you peace, that, that make you happy, whether it's a hobby or Oh, or, or yeah, reaching out absolutely. into the community even. For sure. So that's another core ingredient that was found is that something, it's going to sound obvious, but fun, right? Like choosing hobbies that we enjoy, being creative, uh, spending time around people that not only are positive, but that, you know, spark that something within you that make you smile. It's a sense of belonging. That's yeah. another core ingredient that impacts our joy uh, is belonging. And then, you know, doing more good in the world. So having positive impact. When you have those four ingredients, uh, you absolutely ignite more joy. Yeah. And I've heard people talk about this is to get outside of yourself, to do something for others, to know that you have a purpose in this world really helps people, I think, heal from depression in many cases, you know, especially during the pandemic when everyone was closed off from the world. People, some people lost that, that sense of purpose. Yeah, it's so true. You know, I've shared before about my own personal experience with trauma and being able to not only heal from that, but to find joy really was about in service. So it wasn't sharing my own experience, it was helping others find that. And you know, it, it, they have found it's called helper's high. Like we literally have, you know, it, it sets off the reward center in our brain that when we help others, we actually help ourselves as well. That's right. Any other final advice that you have for folks that want to make 2023 the year of joy? 
Yeah, absolutely. We set up a year of joy so they can actually be connected to 52 weeks of joy uh, through joining our online community. And with that, honestly, it's joy, what we call joy superpowers. And it's an opportunity for them to have activities and access all year long to it. I love that. And <laughs> we're going to put up where people can go to get that information. Sherry, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. joining us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. Have, have a joyful weekend. We're back after this.